Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a quick updated review video of the CyanogenMod Mod 9 ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. It has now been updated to Alpha 3, so I kind of wanted to go over some changes and such, um, especially because AOKP just came out and that was really great, so I'm also very impressed with CM9. It's gonna be difficult to choose between the two. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I will link to it in the description of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So as I said, it's been updated to Alpha 3. Let's go to Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone. And as you can see, Science Mod version Alpha 3 at the end there. So we do have, uh, it's updated to the FD10 kernel, which is an ice cream sandwich leaked build. It is Android version 4.0.4, so on the latest one there, as you can see. Um, you have Sprint System updates. I believe that was in the last one where you can update Profile and PRL, so that's actually very nice. Uh, other things that we do have different. Uh, basically, um, they have improved on many things. GPS should be much better than Alpha 2. Uh, they improved it, so they made it really great. So I got a lock right away. So I've had no issues whatsoever with GPS on CM9. I'm actually going on a trip, not a trip, but going somewhere after this video that I need GPS for. So I'm gonna be testing it out and uh, I'll make a notification if I have any problems, which I'm sure I won't, so you probably won't see one. Uh, the phantom voicemail uh, notification has been fixed, so you'll randomly see, it'll say, oh, you have a voicemail, so you'll wanna be like, uh, you go check it and you don't have a voicemail, so it'll always be persistent, so now it has been fixed, so thankfully they got that fixed, so there's no phantom voicemail notification um, anymore. There's improved battery life, so they made some tweaks, so battery is gonna be better, thankfully. Um, other than that, that's just about it. Uh, they have pinch to zoom on the camera. So when you got your camera, you can actually pinch to zoom. So let's go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, I'm pinching and I'm zooming. So that's pretty cool that you can pinch to zoom. I believe you can zoom with the volume keys. I guess not. So um, you can't do that. I do want to go into that volume uh, rocker anyway. Let's go into sound settings. And in, under sound settings, you got volumes volume panel so volume panel let's go to single normally when you go to volume panel obviously you got your your normal volume up down vibrate silent of course so once that goes away let's go back into volume panel so volume panel we have expandable expanded or none so let's go to expandable so as you can see you got this little settings button right over here so let's select that and as you can see you get uh, many different options so you have uh, basically your um, your sound, your call, your media, your notification, along with your alarm. So you got all those different ones that you can customize, which is great. That's expandable. Expanded, it's just they always are persistently all of them. So it's up to you, whatever one you want. I like the expandable one where I can pop open the settings if I need to. So that's very nice that that has been added as well to Alpha 3. Um, but otherwise, I haven't run into any issues at all. MMS works. Uh, picture messaging, obviously, uh, text messaging calls, everything, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, everything has been working for me, so I haven't had any issues at all there. Thankfully, you got all your, obviously, your uh, ice cream sandwich, stock apps, talk, your nice phone dialer, your contacts, your your everything. I mean, you, you really got the stock ice cream sandwich experience, so... Uh, you also have different tweaks. So let's go to settings. You got launcher settings. Um, you got the amount of home screens you can have. If you want any type of transition effects, anything like that. So you've got that drawer settings. You have transition effects there. In general, you can have it auto rotate the screen if you would like to as well. So you've got uh, those little settings there, which is which is nice to have. They have launcher settings, of course. You can install uh, ones from the market as well. Um, themes is just a stub for now. System settings though, let's go to notification drawer. So up at the top here is our notification drawer. You'll see up at the top we've got uh, our quick panel widgets, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Vibrate, and 4G. 4G does work, so you got 4G going as well in case those of you that were wondering. Um, so you, you can actually edit those, go to widget buttons, and you can show which ones you want to show up. So, I mean, you got a bunch of different options, of course, to, to show up uh, many different ones there. Um, I mean, if you want to add one, just hit go to sleep, and you'll see that that got added up at the top, go to sleep was added. So, uh, you can change the order of them as well. Um, you can go down to widget button order and change the order of the ones that you like. So, thankfully that uh, they have that, because I do like changing the order around adding ones. I like to have the LED light up at the top there. 
as you can see, every once in a while in the dark, I'll need a light, so it's nice to be able to quickly get to one, um, as I'm sure you guys have know as well. You got lock screen settings, haven't been uh, added yet, still a stub for different things, status bar, you've got AM clock, uh, clock style, clock style, battery status style, so you get different ones, percentage, um, icon, and hidden, so signal status as well, text. Uh, so you got those little options there. Overall, AOKP probably does have more settings than CM9. So, I mean, it's really up to you about uh, which one you want to go with. I, I don't really know which one I'm going to go with. I definitely want to check this one out and then uh, see what it feels like, see what it's like. I'm going to go to the advanced menu, though. Under the advanced menu, I believe it's it's got, like, kernel, kernel options, but you might not be able to use many of these just because we don't have really custom kernels yet, of course. Uh, you can swipe away your notifications. As always, uh, other things, performance settings down here, go into that. Proceed with caution, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with these. Uh, processor, you can change your 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 speed if you want to under, underclock. I wouldn't recommend underclocking under 1 gigahertz or 1,000 megahertz. So if you want to do that, you can't overclock yet because we don't have those custom kernels, obviously. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, you got some other settings there. That's really about it though. I mean, you, you have your, your profiles, which is a CM9, uh, CM9 thing where you can basically have a home, a night, silent, a work profile. So it'll mess with all your settings if it, you need it silent and you want your screen dim, you can have it at night or default. I mean, you have different groups so you can, you can mess with those if you'd like. It's kind of uh, a cool feature to have in CM9. But yeah, that's that's generally about it. Definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out. I, I can't tell you whether or not to go with AOKP or CM9 yet, as I haven't really tested them fully. So uh, hopefully you guys can, can figure it out on your own which one you want. Let me know what you think, uh, which one you're going to want to try. Leave a comment on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.